All right, everyone, here we go at the base of Pikes Peak, a 14,000 foot mountain in Colorado. And I was a little torn between the Solomon Speed Cross 5 or the Nike Pegasus 36 Trail. We're going Peg 36 Trail today. I am fascinated to see how this shoe does going up a 14,000 foot mountain. Let's go. And here we go, talking about the Nike Pegasus 36 Trail Mountain Test. All right, so today I ran not, not quite all the way up Pikes Peak, so I was actually turned around by bad weather. Uh, I don't mess around with lightning above tree line. You all know that by now. So I didn't quite get the 7,000 feet of vertical gain, but we did get 6,200 feet or 1,900 meters of vertical gain in the Nike Pegasus 36 Trail. And we're at 31 miles now in this shoe, so not quite to 50. Full review is on the horizon very quickly, but I just wanna talk about how this shoe did in a really, it, okay, the trails can be fairly aggressive at times, but what I was more interested in testing out today is how would the Peg 36 Trail perform ascending for two hours straight. I went straight up the mountain for two hours, basically with no stopping, and I was fascinated to, to see how it locked down my midfoot, my, the heel counter and the heel, um, all of that. But before I talk about the performance today, I just have to mention, when I think of the Pegasus lineup, now not the turbos, but the Pegasus lineup from Nike, I think about simplicity. Uh, I think the, the Pegasus shoes are often referenced by many people as their easy day shoe. Basically get out there, and this is the Pegasus 35, uh, basically get out there and get miles in. I use them for easy days. I now have the Pegasus 36s and I love them, but um, they're not really a high end uh, running shoe from Nike, not like the Zoom Flies or um, any of the, or the Turbos. So, when I saw that the Pegasus 36 Trail was gonna be released, I was a little skeptical, I'll be frank, uh, just because maybe, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, just having that name Pegasus in there, I was like, huh, is this gonna be basically an easy day trail running shoe? And I'm not gonna answer that question quite yet, but I will just say this, I was pleasantly surprised today. That's right, the Pegasus 36 Trail climbing 6,200 feet of vertical gain on some pretty interesting terrain, uh, very diverse trail conditions, hard packed dirt, pavement actually. I started off on pavement and then hard, pack, hard packed dirt and then eventually transitioned into some gravel conditions, like really kind of loose rock, really small pebbles. You see it there on your screen. And then eventually getting upward, up above tree line, you start to get into very rocky conditions. Um, so I must say the Peg 36 Trail performed pretty well. The major concern from today was the grip, mostly down below in those gravel conditions. Um, so the outsole uh, is not intended to be a big mountain trail running shoe. I kind of knew that going in. I just wanted to make sure that I understood how the outsole, not just the lug depth, but that the lug pattern, how it would perform on a pretty big mountain today, okay? Now, on to the positive as far as ascending a mountain, okay, climbing a mountain. The lockdown was awesome. It was awesome. Through the midfoot, the heel counter, and probably what I would say the biggest uh, positive from today was on the mountain test is this heel counter. I felt so secure in the heel. No slipping, no discomfort. So I did 20 miles today, 32 kilometers, and no issues at all with rubbing or anything through the collar of the shoe and the heel counter. Just a nice, I love, okay, so I've talked about this in the past. See how the heel counter is angling in? Pretty, I don't wanna say aggressively, but more so than some other trail running shoes that I own. I like that. I love it actually. I love how it kind of cups your heel and it might not work for the, uh, for how your foot is, is built, how you're specifically your heel, but for my heel, I love when the heel counter goes in a little bit. It just helps lock down, especially for ascending a mountain. So, and I almost forgot to mention the specs real quick. So 10 millimeter drop felt great today. Ascending, I like it. I love a 10 millimeter drop for going up big mountains, just so you know. It's just like the Solomon Speed Cross 5. It's a 10 millimeter as well. So, okay, 30 millimeter stack height in the heel, 
20 millimeter and the four foot, that cushion, uh, that zoom cushion, it just felt so, so nice today, especially on the descending as well. Uh, and then 9.3 ounces, uh, 264 grams for the weight in men's size nine US sizing. All right, so two more runs, wait for it, and I'll get you the full review in two more runs, but I just wanted to get you a quick update on how the PEG 36 trails performed on a mountain. And I would say it was like, it was a mixed bag. It was a mixed bag, I'll just leave it there. So, and we're gonna go with ascent for the keyword because I was practicing and training for the Pikes Peak Ascent today down at Pikes Peak in Manitou Springs. And the question of the day, and this is, I realize, a very niche, niche question, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Let us hear it. What is your favorite? Uh, and this is for all, and maybe, who knows, maybe the European, like Europe, I'm a little jealous of Europe, I must say, because you guys, your mountains are incredible. Whether it's in Switzerland or the Dolomites in Italy or uh, northern Spain or even England and the Wales and the Lake District and uh, don't even talk to me about the Scandinavian countries like there's just big mountains over there so anyway maybe you could chime in but what is your best or your go-to or your favorite trail running shoe for climbing not for ultra running not for uh, trail running in general I'm talking if you want to climb a mountain what trail running shoe are you grabbing for out of your closet? All right, let us know down below. I'd appreciate it. And I know a lot of other folks would as well. And if you want to give a, your reason why, that would be amazing. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Woo, what a day, what a day.